We're standing in the collection store of the Canberra Museum and Gallery with a number of works by uh, Elliot Gruner behind me on the screen. They're works that have come in for loan for the exhibition Elliot Gruner, The Texture of Light, which is going to be on display at the Canberra Museum and Gallery in 2014. Elliot Gruner was a really important Australian painter of the landscape. He painted in the 1910s, 20s and 30s and uh, he had quite uh, tough early beginnings but by the 19, late 1910s, early 20s he was making uh, a very modest living as an artist and then became really very successful. In the 1910s uh, Gruner was working in a in an impressionist, a sort of Australian impressionist mode. He was influenced by Charles Condor, Arthur Streeton. He paints some incredibly beautiful beach paintings and Sydney Harbour paintings in the early 1910s. They're lovely jewel-like works. And then uh, in the around sort of 1915-16, he discovered in New Plains, west of Sydney, which is farmland, grassland area and painted some of his most evocative paintings there including the beloved Spring Frost which is in the art collection of the Art Gallery of New South Wales and will be in the exhibition at Canberra Museum and Gallery and that's a, the cow painting as many people know it, uh, an astonishing and beautiful work and a little uncharacteristic in its size because most of Gruner's work is, is um, quite domestic in scale. You know, in his lifetime, he was really celebrated. His works were very sought after. He rarely had any commercial exhibitions. His work was exhibited in the Artist Society exhibitions. It went out of the studio as fast as he could paint it. As a plein air painter, Gruner sought his subject in the landscape, spent his time actually painting outdoors. But in the 1920s, in the early 1920s, he discovered the Canberra region, uh, by which I mean the area from the southern highlands to the south coast, uh, the Cooma Monero Plateau and the Murrumbidgee River Valley. He loved the Canberra region and he loved that region because of the quality of its light, because of the clarity of its light. It's so dry that you can, as Canberra people know really well, on a clear day you can see forever. And that's what he really loved about the region. So he spent between 1921 and 1939, the year of his death, he made many, many, many visits to the region. I think visitors can expect to be quite astonished by the, the beauty of, of Gruner's work. Uh, 70 paintings covering a period of um, 30 years. Quite a short uh, period of practice in a way, but a very um, concentrated achievement, I think. But really beautiful paintings, from the tiny little sketchy, exquisite beach studies to the magnificent, imp almost imposing landscapes such as Murrumbidgee Ranges and Wetangara, but the, the, the sort of joy of it, there's, a, there's, a, um, there's an exultation in a way about Gruner's work. It's quiet and modest as well, but I think it, it has a very particular flavour of the Australian landscape. Not the kind of reds of the central desert, but these rolling, modest, um, modernist kind of takes on, on you know, certain quintessential aspects of Australian landscape.